Jairam here. In this video, we are going to learn about operators in Python. Operators have a very important role when you are dealing with any type of calculation or any type of operations using different variables. You have to sometimes do the mathematical operations, sometimes you have to do um, logical operations, sometimes you have to do bitwise operators uh, operations. So there are various types of uh, operation we can do using the operators. So in this video, we are going to learn what are those areas, what are the different types of operators and we can use uh, while we are um, doing some calculation in our Python programming. So let us see. Like uh, Python operators. Operators are a special symbol that perform operations on variable and values. So as the definition is uh, self-explanatory that uh, what operators operators are as uh, special symbols and uh, which perform action, operations on variables and values so here uh, if you see i have given one example one addition i am doing using print 10 plus 20 equal to 30 if you uh, run this program it will return 30 right so what is happening here these two 10 and 20 are the operands and plus which is uh, helping to sum these two numbers is the operator clear so this operator is helping us to sum these two numbers right and these two numbers uh, we have directly put it here these numbers but we can have variables as well uh, you can put variables to get uh, num1 equal to 10 num2 equal to 20 then print either you can do uh, print 10 plus 20 right so if you print this one you can see easily that it's printing 30 here right and uh, in place of these direct values we can put the variable name as well so num1 now 2 right and if you run then again that will also print 30 so as the definition uh, according to definition we can perform the operations on variables or in values right now see the next topic here types of uh, operators we can have uh, here uh, there are different types of operators uh, while we're dealing with programming one of them is arithmetic operators will do all the plus minus multiplication, division, power. So here we'll deal with an arithmetic operators. Assignment. Assignment means you are uh, assigning some value to a variable like uh, equal to, plus equal to, minus equal to, or we'll do see next uh, in detail. Comparison. We are comparing two values. Logical, we are doing some logical and or Bitwise, bitwise very much clear. We deal with the bitwise operations in uh, Python. Uh, that will right shift, left shift, XOR, OR, and these are the things we'll deal with the bitwise. Similarly, uh, identity will check the is or is not. Uh, similarly, in membership, membership is, is this uh, value in particular string or particular sequence. So let us see in detail uh, each one. Like the first was the arithmetic operators. You can see we can have operator like plus, minus, uh, multiplication, then division, then modulus, then exponential, exponentiation, and uh, then floor division. And uh, I have given an example like how how you can use the plus operator, two plus three, five. How you can use the minus operator. So you can see where I am applying here the modulus. Modulus is you get the remainder by dividing. Same is exponentiation. Exponentiation is doing like whenever you put a 2 a star, 2 to the power 3, it will return 8. Floor division, floor division means it will give you the uh, top floor values, uh, floor values instead of the uh, decimal part. So it will always return the uh, integer part floor number, right? So this is pretty simple. We can uh, try this one also in. Um, programming and uh, like one example I'm showing here the exponentiation one like uh, 
I have one number. Um, suppose that I'm printing directly printing print two and two times a star and then three. So according to me, it should print. Uh, let me clear the screen. It should print eight, right? So this is how we can perform with using these operators. Different mathematical operations you can perform, right? Now, assignment operators. What are the assignment operators? Like uh, I am assigning here in the example, the first one is equal to sign, and uh, x is equal to two. It means this operator is helping equal to to assign two to variable x, right? So this is the expanded one. Same thing here. Another operator is plus equal to. So here x plus equal to two. It means if you write in the expanded form, it will be x is equal to x plus two. So we are adding uh, one value, uh, value to previous value of x, and we are getting the new x, right? Similarly, x minus equal to two, x star uh, equal to two. It will multiply x with the two till here, and then there is one x and one. So these are the something uh, practically you can see here. Like I'm taking. Uh, two variables and suppose that I am num1 so print uh, or you can get like that num1 plus equal to uh, suppose that I am adding 2 right and if you print num1 what should be the value the meaning of this one is as I have already mentioned that num1 equal to num1 plus 2. So in short notation, we you, uh, instead of writing two times num1, you can avoid and just write this one. So this will work similar to this one, right? So I have added 2, so it will print 12, right? We got 12, right? Similarly, uh, if you are putting minus, uh, it should subtract 2 what it means here minus so it will print 8 right let me clear for the next similarly you can do like I'm putting here a star and uh, it means num equal to num into 2 num into 2 the detailed information if you write here the meaning of this one is num 1 equal to num 1 into 2 so it should be 20 right we're getting 20 similarly if you are uh, dividing num1 by 2 uh, so i am writing here uh, slash uh, sorry this one and if you print you get 5 because i am dividing uh, num1 by 2 num1 is 10 and we are getting the floating point number uh, 5 right similarly uh, what is else we can do modulus right Modulus we can do here percentage sign. It means num1 equal to num1 modulus 2. And if you run this one, you will get a 0. Be uh, num1 equal to num1. Because remainder when you divide 10 by 2, remainder will be 0. Right? And uh, similarly, double slash we can put here like, so if you, you just get the, uh, floor value here that's why we are not getting any decimal similarly you can perform the double star here right so double star means num1 equal to num1 into double star so 10 to the power 2 so it will be 100 right let me clear the screen so this is how it works and uh, one more with the ampersand uh, this one and uh, if you type this ampersand like this one so it will be uh, 2 right so it will be 2 so this is something we are doing and uh, uh, with the assignment operators hope it's clear now next is the comparison in comparison what we do we check that one number one variable is equal to or not equal to or greater than or less than or greater than less than or less than or equal to so these are the operations we do with the comparison operators right so how we can do this one uh, if you write practically here 
so like uh, i'm writing here generally comparison comes to the if condition num1 equal to num2 print equal right i'm just writing here else print unequal right so and uh, let me just run this one so it is printing unequal because these two numbers are not equal but but we are doing some comparison this is how we do the comparisons right uh, similarly we can do not equal to if suppose that i'm writing a not equal to then not equal unequal right and uh, either it will be equal and uh, let me clear the screen and uh, then running so definitely it's showing unequal because the number one is not equal to number two is true that's why unequal part is printed it's not moved to the else part so similarly greater than uh, if num1 greater than num2 num1 greater than num2 means num1 is bigger num1 is bigger right else num2 is bigger num2 is bigger so here num2 is bigger coming because num1 is just 10 that's why it's moving into so this is how you can compare with the num uh, greater than suppose that i'm putting less than num1 is less than num2 so here is true that num1 is less than then definitely num2 will be bigger and num1 will be here the bigger right so true is it num2 is bigger it's, this is how less than greater than works similarly you can put here the equal to as well uh, equal to and uh, greater than equal to less than equal to so just running here num2 is bigger this is how because both are not equal that's why or less than so it's coming here similarly you can put here this one and uh, this right so num1 is bigger because just if num1 is greater than or equal to num2 then our num1 should be greater and here num2 should be greater right so i'm just running this one so num2 is bigger so this is how uh, comparison operator works hope it's clear and let me clear the screen so better visibility in the terminal now logical operators uh, we have three here uh, logical operators and or and not so how where we can use so suppose that uh, we have two variables and with those two variables comparing with some values then we use uh, logical operators so similarly not x we will use that one if some value is there if you are putting not then we are negating that value right so, so you can how it will work like this uh, you can write here num1 greater than 5 and num2 greater than 10 just something i'm just writing here hello and uh, here writing world right so it's this is how and i'm using this logical and i'm using right so and means this both of these conditions should be true if both these conditions are true then this will move into the if uh, block right so here num1 greater than 5 correct num2 greater than 10 correct then it should print hello right so if i run this one hello is printing so this is how it's work and suppose that uh, uh, i'm putting here 25 right and if i run it's printing world because this is true but uh, this is not true because num2 is 20 and we're checking that num2 is greater than 25 that's why it moved to this section correct now how or works what or is uh, check if any one of the condition is true num1 is greater than 5 or 
num2 is greater than 25 here one is true then definitely hello will be printed right one is true so this is how and and or printed and uh, how, uh, then sometimes uh, we need to print not uh, we have like uh, not num1 print else print what right so let us see i'm just clearing the screen so you see uh here is i have to put the one column and it will be put the syntax here what right so i'm negating this one Previously, uh, it was true, but through not, I am making it false, right? So that's why it's moved to the world. Now, bitwise operator. This is one of the uh, uh, when we deal with the beats in programming or something like that, we'll use this bitwise operator. So how this work? So bitwise operator telling that. If we have something like x is equal to 4 times 0 and y equal to 4 times 0 and if you're doing end operations then uh, end will be uh, 0 0 0 because all here are 0 right similarly or here we have uh, x is equal to all 0 and uh, this is if you do the or operations on the both both the, these bitwise numbers x and y, you will get 14. Similarly, XOR, uh, if uh, we we have a 0, 0, 0 and a triple one zero, and if, if you perform the XOR operation on this two bit numbers, you will get 14, right? Similarly, bitwise not. If if we have this one, then we're reversing to one to zero and zero to one, we will get minus eleven. Right, and uh, bitwise right shift. Uh, suppose that I am, uh, I have one uh, uh, number which is bit value is this one, and uh, I am right shifting by one, then it should, it should be I think something something wrong here. It should be here some printing mistake. And uh, then left shift. This is the left shift sign, uh, sign, and this is the right shift. If you right shift, so here is one zero, and you move to the right to place, it will come here. So shifting just to right, previously it was just uh, two, and it's become eight. So when you, whenever you shift to right, uh, your value decreases, and you shift to left, bit shift left, your value increases. So this uh, bitwise operations and um, some number system, I'll deal with in a separate video. I'll uh, soon launch on that. So hope that it's clear that the, how the bitwise operators are works with the bits, right? Now we have uh, two one important uh, additional, uh, sometimes known as the membership operators. One is the identity operator. Identity operator telling that uh, returns true if both variables are the same object. Each x is y means x and y are the both the same object is not it return true if both variables are not the same object so let us see one example here i am creating one list one equal to uh, hello world right and then list two equal to same thing I'm writing here. I'm just copying and uh, paste, right? So it looked like both are same, and uh, I'm creating another list three, and I'm assigning list one, right? Now, how can check each if list one? is list 2 
print same object right list one and list two are same object list one and list two are same object elif list one is list three print list one and list three are same object right so let us just clear the screen let us run this program right so here it's executing that list one and list two even if the both holding the same values but those are not the same object they are different object here i have assigned list one to list three so list one and list two list three are the same object that's why it's printing list one and list three are the so each compare the objects but uh, suppose that i want to check if uh, list one equal to equal to list two uh, print list one and list two have same elements right elements and i'm just running this one so this will i'm ignoring this one because this is printing from here here list one and list two have the same element it's see the difference here objects are not same and it's uh, you are comparing through the each right each is the operator but when you're applying the double equal to it's working both the elements are same so this is a difference between is and equal double equal to Com if you're comparing means comparing the elements if you're writing each it means you are comparing the objects and both the two objects list one list two are different so hope it's clear now uh, next one is membership operator uh, like uh, x in y x not in y right we want to check uh, a particular uh, value uh, is available in a sequence or not suppose that uh, in and not i am taking uh, just uh, let me remove this one and uh, i am taking one list here Suppose that I am taking this one. I am checking if hello in list one print hello is in string, right? Else. print string not available i'm checking this one right so let me run so hello is in a string right obvious there is a list one and hello is in this uh, list so that's why hello is in string printing suppose i'm changing this hello one in this printing string is not available this one because the hello one is not available in this one right so this is how in works and if you not write a not in list hello one is not in list one right or string is available here the condition will be changed I'm just showing how in and not working. So if you run, run this one, hello one is not in the list. It's working. So this is how uh, this not in true returns and sometimes in returns true, right? 
So it, both the condition I have uh, explained how it works. Uh, membership operators like in and not in, right? So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And uh, still, if you have not uh, subscribed my channel, please subscribe. I'm coming uh, with the new videos on the Python in the next uh, release. So <coughs> hope you understood uh, operators in detail. Uh, how you can perform and use your operator's detail in while doing programming. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put in the comment box. I will happy to respond. See you then with a new video. Enjoy.